Welcome back to the Morning Blend. When you're pregnant, it seems like everything's a change. Your emotions can be all over the place. Your physical changes, they happen so fast. So one of the most common questions is, what do I eat? So today, six superfoods that you should put on your list when you're eating for two. Maria Vile is a board certified nutritional practitioner and she is here with her list of go-to foods for moms to be because she's got a baby bump. Can we I see do. it? Let's see it. You can't, well, Share the here. bump. Share the bump. She's like, Look you at guys this adorable. Always, oh, check it out. Oh, <laughs> my baby so just made television. Cute. <laughs> Oh. That's so cute. You look great. Oh, thanks, How are you guys. feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We're in the third trimester, so I've got two months to go, but feeling good. A little good. more energy now, right? What's starting to decline a little bit, but yeah, I'm <laughs> feeling better than, than the very beginning. Were you sure. the poster of health your entire pregnancy? Because I obviously you're yeah. a nutritionist. Yeah, so. I think that was the biggest thing. You know, I it's like you know I know this stuff. I work with pregnant women yeah. all the time. And then you get pregnant and you're like, I don't want to eat vegetables. <laughs> Like I want to throw up, yeah. you know what I mean? And so that was hard because they're like, I know this stuff, but I'm having a really hard time. So it was great for me. It put me in the place of my clients to be able to be like, all right, how do you navigate that? Yeah. What are the foods you need? And then how do you navigate it so it's actually palatable? Right. One of the things I always wondered, because when I was pregnant and, and I like meat, I love chicken breast, I like a steak. There's a lot of different forms of meat that I like. I had a real problem with meat, not with all three of my kids, but with two of them. Yeah, I did too. You I'm did? Same way. Is that yeah. a common thing? Yeah, I think it, it can be anything. I have some people, I have one woman who told me she only ate Cheetos and Coke. Like she's like, <laughs> that's all I could eat, you know? And like some other women are like, they love something and then they ate the crap out of it and then yeah. they just couldn't even stand the smell so yes. it's crazy there's no rhyme or reason you can't make sense of it but I think it's like if you have an idea of the basics of nutrients yeah. you need you can kind of navigate that and then you have to give yourself a break like you're kind of like kind of have a big job going on like yep. and in life too pregnant or not you have to give yourself some leniency in terms of adapting any sort of dietary change or lifestyle. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Yes. So I, that's nice. Once you can eat good superfoods <laughs> and you want to and you're able to, there are six things here that you really should make sure you're getting. The first one starting with obviously green veggies. Yeah. We it, know that, but why? Well, greens are really high in folate, and folate is a vital nutrient in pregnancy. It helps decrease birth defects, okay. and it's high in vitamins A, C, and E, and K. So these are all our antioxidants. Now, trust me. I know that this pile for people, especially if you're looking at your first trimester, you're like, I want you're not a pregnant. Ralph, you yeah. know? <laughs> but for me, what I found, what helped is putting it into like a really simple smoothie. So okay. a banana, some almond milk, a couple handfuls of spinach to hide yeah. the flavor or the texture and then make it nice, like icy. For me, I liked icy things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, make it easier to consume. Okay, other things that have those are roasted broccoli, asparagus, um, and then the collard yeah, greens. Yeah, collard and kale. greens, kale, spinach, any, okay. anything green. Yeah. What about figs? Because we had figs in the mm -hmm. uh, chocolate, chocolate balls and yep. the other balls. They With were delicious. Cacao! <laughs> exactly. I was waiting for that one. Uh, figs, uh, what's great about figs is not just do they satisfy your sweet tooth, because sometimes you get that with, well, in life, yeah. for, let alone <laughs> pregnancy, but they're high in minerals and they're this high. This is a fig? Yeah, there's two, these are Turkish, oh, it like a little mushroom. Turkish figs and then black mission figs, high in iron. And so for pregnancy, iron huh. is important because your blood volume increases and you get tested for iron. They want to make sure that you're getting enough because deficiency in iron is associated to fatigue, even nausea. Yeah. So those are, if you're having those, you know, that could be a sign. So get some figs. And you can okay. put them in salads, dip them in almond butter. It's yeah. not like you just have to be popping dried fruit because I okay. know some people. I like it. it. Seaweed. Now this may or may not appeal to you, but this is something that's But you good. can eat sushi, right? You can have vegetarian sushi. So oh, okay. as long as there's not like the raw fish, but even, so I like something like this, which they're these little um, kelp sea salt shakers. They literally are just little granules. And so like I sprinkle this on just like um, oh, real little. soup or oh, salad yeah. or something. I mean, it's not a lot. Like if it. this doesn't do it for you, you know, the roasted seaweed. Otherwise, just make sure, you find, make sure you find a prenatal that has 150 milligrams of iodine on it. Because this okay. is important for your thyroid. All right. And thyroid with pregnancy is important for keeping your progesterone levels. I like, I like seaweed. Your yeah. metabolism. I mean, your thyroid health is really key when it comes to pregnancy. Lentils. Lentils. Sounds so boring, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. No, that's not the lentil. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> no. <laughs>
<laughs> but should never but get that's pregnant. Great. The lentils, what is great about lentils is they're high in protein, fiber, and uh, folate again. What are these? Lentils. They look like little Orange. carrot chips. But you can make them into, so I have my red lentil hummus, which is actually a great way of adding mm. lentils in instead of the basic ones. But a big co complaint in pregnancy is constipation. And so having things that have high in fiber, uh -huh. and if you're, not, if you're not interested in meat, you have to get your protein somewhere. Okay. So lentils and then eggs, which we'll talk about next, these are really key. Really Organic quick. eggs, though, yeah. right? Yeah, you want to make sure you're eating some clean protein because everything you eat, your baby gets. So yeah. eggs high in protein, high in healthy fat, but high in choline, which has been shown to improve cognitive function and memory in utero. Okay. No mayo in here? Yeah, no is mayo in this egg salad. And that, that recipe is on my web website because mayo has some raw egg, and in all yeah. fairness, mayo is not really like the most nut nutritionally yeah. done. So that's made with olive oil and Dijon and sea salt and black pepper. Okay. Rest, rest be on our website. Mm -hmm. Last, avocado, walnuts, flaxseed. Essential fatty acids. Avocado. Yeah, you need fats. Your baby needs fats. It's really important for brain and cognitive health. And avocados actually are high in potassium too, which helps with your blood pressure. Another thing you get tested for in pregnancy. And then ground flaxseed, I always say, versus whole. This one whole. or that, this one? Well, this is whole, so you can buy oh, it whole, okay. but this is if, what you're I throwing it, <laughs> if you're throwing it in a smoothie, you don't need to grind it necessarily. Are chia seeds in yeah. that? I love mm -hmm. chia seeds. Chia yeah. seeds, hemp hearts, um, fat, like healthy wild caught fatty salmon, that okay. would be all, those would all be great options. Okay, true or false, you were rated top nutritionist, best <laughs> in Milwaukee 2017 Aww. by Shepherd Express. Yeah. That is true. It's true. Aww, I voted for you. Yay. Aww, thanks guys. I voted thanks. too. The Aww. fact that I could figure it out is yeah. amazing. Oh, I do remember. <laughs> you did, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you figured Congratulations it though. Oh, we think thank you. Deserve you. It. Yeah. We love thank having you here. We're super excited for you. Oh, Can't thank wait you. to Look, meet your baby. She's growing a grapefruit. <laughs> Bring the baby every time you come. Oh, that would make a great segment. <laughs> yes. It pops out. All right. Here's Just what have it on the show. Yeah. We'll see how healthy it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's waiting to find out if it's a girl or a boy, which is exciting. We can't wait to find out. MariaVile.com slash pregnancy because she's pregnant. I love it. Great to see you. Guys you guys are great. Thanks so much, Maria.